Welcome to Brit Lab, where today we look at the science behind one of the greatest sources of conflict in the world today, toilet seat etiquette. I like toilet humour as much as the next man, but toilet seat etiquette is no laughing matter. This particular battlefield has seen some of the most bitter fighting in the gender wars, thanks to some fundamental anatomical differences between men and women. Should you leave the toilet seat up, or should you put it down? Well, an economist from Michigan State University concluded that the most efficient strategy, the one that minimizes overall lifting and dropping efforts, was to simply leave the seat the way you found it. This economist was a man. But do the seat down supporters have a point? In lowering the lid and seat, are we protecting ourselves from dangerous infections? Well, I'll give you a hint, no, but I'm gonna do an experiment to prove it. I spent much longer than I should have done in the bathroom collecting bacteria from my family toilet after it had been, well, used, to see what might be spread from the toilet after flushing. First, I've attached an agar plate to the toilet seat above the water. It's flush time. Then I repeated the process with plates on the floor to see if any bugs had spread from the toilet. We then sent off the plates for analysis. Now the one time you should definitely think about putting the toilet seat down is when someone who uses the loo has been ill. Researchers at Leeds University used a sterilised toilet cubicle and created a diarrhoea effect in the bowl using stool samples infected with the superbug C. difficile. When the lid was closed, the bug wasn't found on any surface, but when it was opened, it was found all around the toilet and on the floor, and it was still detected in the air 90 minutes later. But as my results show, most of the time you don't really have to worry about it. We found various types of bacteria as you would expect from anywhere, but no actual poo-related bugs on the plates, and nothing that was in any way dangerous. Most of them, in fact, are commonly found on skin and probably came from yours truly. The outside of me, that is. So, if you leave the toilet seat down, then yes, you may be preventing the spread of a tiny number of germs, but it doesn't matter because these bacteria are all around us, covering everything anyway. The toilet seat up or down debate will continue to rage down the ages, but in this house, the toilet seat is never, ever left up. And that's because I will be in the sink. <laughs> it's true. You can troll each other in the comments section below and if you're into that kind of thing, you can subscribe to BritLab.